Rule one, never be too quick to reply to your ex. Rule two, always be the one to send the last message and end that conversation. Rule three, don't be scared to sell her a dream and show your emotions. A bit of scumbaggery for you Donnies. Rule four, never ever ask her if she's dating somebody new. Assume attraction until proven otherwise. Disclaimer, she's gonna be dating somebody anyway, bro. She's been single and you've been dating somebody, haven't you? And if you haven't, why? Rule five, don't be mean. Especially if you're trying to get her back. Disclaimer, if you was mean to begin with, you might wanna play that role again. Rule six, be funny, be lighthearted. Humor, humor, humor. Rule seven, be direct, straight to the point, short and brief. No small talk, bro. No pleasantries. Get straight to the point. You know what you're doing, so do it properly. Trust what you say, mean what you say. Wait, bro. No drama. No headaches. No vaginal activity. The only vagina you should be seeing, bro, is when you're digging guts. I don't want to hear no femininity coming out of your mouth, bro. Rule nine. Purpose, purpose, purpose. Why are you contacting her? You need to have that method in your head. Rule 10. Don't be a soy boy. Don't spam her. Don't seek validation. Don't be silly. And if she's blocked off everything, bro, what the hell did you do, bro? What the hell did you do? What's up, boys? In today's video, I'm going to talk about what to text your ex texting your ex properly i'm going to go through some common questions that i've had from the guys that i've coached and obviously if you want to co get coaching with me click the link in the description box if you're trying to get your ex back properly and it's been a recent breakup you need someone to talk to reach out to me let's get to work all right so question scenario one i had basically was along the lines of my ex reached out to me and she texted me how much she missed me. And I didn't reply. And now I've replied to her. And now, not, and now she's not replying. What should I do? That was scenario question type one. So to, to answer this question, she stopped replying because bro, when you were supposed to reply, you didn't reply. You need to understand there's, there's windows of opportunity. She's reached out to you and she's basically poured out her heart. If you want her, even if it's a little bit, you have to reply. The issue is you don't, you play games in those situations. Ah, oh, yes, she's chasing me finally. Yeah, you can celebrate if you don't want her back. But if you're trying to get her back, bro, then you have to reply, you have to. We'll talk about managing expectations and controlling emotions and building rotations but you still have to manage what they're giving you question two what do i do if my ex reaches out to me consistently during no contact bro simple ignore her bro ignore her if you're feeling nervous and you're feeling anxious about the situation bro okay i give you permission you don't need my permission bro <laughs> you don't need my permission um <laughs> I give you my permission to text her question mark, question mark, question mark. And then let her qualify. Okay, you don't need to overexert yourself, bro. You need to stay disciplined. Remember, she's trying to scramble your brain. She's going to text you things like, I miss you. I can't stop thinking about you. Why are we still doing this? Of course she's going to do this, bro. It's your job to remain stoic. It's your job to remain calm. It's your job to play your role especially during no contact. This question's mad. Can somebody be engaged with somebody new and still feel something for their ex? Bro, listen up very carefully. There are women that are married <laughs> that settled for that guy. There are, what, why do you think they're married women that cheat? they married women that cheat daily. Remember, love is... <laughs> Love is performance based. And imagine if you marry someone because you're settling. Remember, most women that are in the danger zone, bro, early 30s and above, 
they settle for beta males. Most of the Donnies that they marry are betas. In their prime years, bro, those are the guys that they really wanted. The Chads, the Pookies, the Ray Rays, the Dwaynes. Those are the Donnies that they wanted, bro. The Ethans of the world, the Jeffreys, the Harrys. Those are the Donnies, bro, in the 20s, in their peak. Then reality hits them. No more options. No guys moving to me anymore. Why is nobody approaching me anymore? Have I got uglier? Where's my animal that I need to buy? She's going to have feelings for other guys, bro. Especially if you was together. Granted, it might be a minuscule, but the possibility is always there. Fourth question I had, which is very common. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, it's deep. <laughs> and boys, if you got questions that you want me to ask us to do with breakups, man, put them in the description box, bro. Make sure you like the video. What should I do when she's blocked me off everything? Bro, game over. There's nothing you can really do. You have to just just wait, live your life. She has to come to you. If you've got no avenue of contacting her, there's nothing you can do. Obviously, you could get your friend's phone and call her via an external number. But that's just... I mean, when you're doing that, bro, then you're at <laughs> ground zero. You don't ever want to be in that situation. You have to let her go, bro. Let her go. Let her do what she needs to do. If and when she comes back, you need to be ready. You need to have leveled up. You need to be a completely different guy. And... If she's blocked you off everything, bro, what the hell did you do, bro? What the hell did you do? I haven't contacted my ex for six months. Will she come back to me? Hell no. Six months, bro. Why? This is what I mean. Like, you don't need to ask these questions, bro. But <laughs> would you contact, would you go back to somebody that hasn't messaged you in six months? I'll spin it on you. But why has she not contacted you for six months? What have you been doing for six months? These are the questions I'll be asking. Why is it taking you six months to reach out to me? What, did you just wake up and six months later, oh yeah, I want her back. Bro, no. You have to have some logic. Last question on this video. She hasn't removed me from Facebook. <laughs> is this a problem? Bro, she hasn't removed you on Facebook because she doesn't want people to know. She doesn't want people to know. I would also say, why are you watching her? Why are you watching her, bro? That's what I would say. But like, um, if she does it, man, let, she will take it off eventually. If it's bothering you, bro, then just message her and say, look, can you remove me off your Facebook? We're not together anymore. Take take me off your status. And yeah, she can do that. If she wants to do that as well. All right. And if it's that deep, bro, tell her to remove it and <laughs> deactivate her account if, it's, if she doesn't want other people to see it. All right. But boys, I hope that helped you, man. Hope that helps you out a lot. Good luck, man. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. See you in the next one. Peace.